Hey guys, it's me, J number three here, and this is going to be the first video in a little collection of DCC instruction videos. Um, we're doing these videos because when we were trying to learn a bit more about DCC, we could hardly find anything that we were looking for. So, um, the DCC system is a simple-ish thing. Yeah, it takes a lot of work and, of course, a lot of money. Um, we chose the Zephyr as our little controller, and uh, I'm going to show you how it works. So because of our area, I just keep the little power cord under the direction throttle, so then it doesn't fly away on me. And to turn it on, you just plug it in the back, and there you go, right there. Um, we've got our only... DCC engine at the moment, which is BMSF2094. So click loco, then type in the number 2094, press loco again, and now that's the engine that is set to. Um, to turn on power to the track, press power, change the direction that you want it to go to. I want it to go forward, just change it forward. Now here's the throttle, it'll do a little jump, and now it's going that way for some reason. We have the wires put backwards, that's why. Make sure you have the wires going the right way. But I'm not going to change that right now. Uh, so I'm going to make you go forward, putting it into reverse. It'll be a little jump. Okay. Doesn't want to go forward today. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, that's basically how it would work. We just have a little problem, which I'll figure out after this video is done. Uh, if you have an engine with sound, uh, you should probably... If you do end up getting an engine with sound, number one is bell, number two is whistle, three is coupler, if it has a coupler. Whenever you're done, always press power, turn off tra power to the track, and unplug it at the back. And that's just basically how you use the Zephyr. There's more in the instruction manual, and yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.